Peace family, you know who it is. JM, uh, part of my appearance. I've been working from home all day. I ain't get to get, you know, freshened up. But um, let's have some community talk, right? Some 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 brother to brother talk real quick. Uh, to all my kings out there, brown and black men, stop calling yourself a big homie, a boss, a leader, an activist. Um, all those cool words that put you as of some position of authority in our community, and you're still degrading and disrespecting our women, our sisters, our mothers, our aunts, right? Like, how you still calling a black woman a bitch, but then go home and look your mama in the face? Go home and look your daughter in the face? Like, if we all want community, when shit go down, you say you you black and you proud and you get your DNA, you melanated and, and African and all those all those cool words, you but you still disrespecting our women, the ones we're supposed to protect and provide for and, 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 and serve and love and stand up for, the, the, the mother of the earth, the ones that birthed us. You still disrespecting our queens, but you call yourself a big homie because your bank roll up, because you got a nice portfolio or because you got some record sales or you on TV and you pop it and you got a few million followers. You the big homie, but you call our women bitches because you picking on women, you picking on females. Like you're disrespecting and degrading women to make you feel better about you. You feel more puffed up now. You, you, you a pimp now. You more the man. This is not me degrading or downing or dissing you. This is just some man to man, brother to brother, like, you know, reality check. Like, yo, let's do better. Let's elevate our women, elevate our community. It's our responsibility. If the black woman don't feel uplifted, it's our fault. And so you the one adding to that, big homie. You the one calling them bitches. You the one calling them hoes. You the one calling them thotting and bopping. You the one disrespecting them and making them feel as if that they should buy into the culture of calling themselves bad bitches. Because the big homies, the guys with the bankroll, the athletes, the celebrities, the rappers, the entertainers, the businessmen, they think it's cool. They think it's sexy to call me a bitch, so I just, I'm going to adopt being a bitch. But then we mad when they bitches. Yo, we got to do better as men and set the tone for our community and elevate our women. We can raise no higher than our woman. You ain't no big homie to me. I don't care what your bankroll is, what trap you done made it out of, what prison you done came out of. You can't be a big homie to me and to real men in our community if you ain't got enough discipline, enough love, enough self-respect, enough dignity, enough pride. To be able to uplift and elevate our women and simply keep the bitch word, the whole word out of your mouth and call them sisters, call them queens, call them gods or goddesses or something with respect. They ain't no chick, they ain't no hoes, they ain't no thoughts, they ain't no bitches. Like these are queens, the mother of the earth, big homie. Like y'all men need to check yourself. Your bankroll ain't got nothing to do with that, that dignity, that spirit, that pride. This is Jay Morrison. I go by young Malcolm. And I'm wrapping this up. I say young Malcolm not because I'm trying to be a Malcolm X. I say young Malcolm because I follow the ideologies of Malcolm X, which is to combat our political oppression, economic exploitation, and our social degradation. This video right here is part of the solution for our social degradation, how we degrade ourselves. When our men stop degrading our women, we will set the tone for the rest of the world to respect us. Now I'm out. Peace. Big homie.